Botox is one of the most versatile drugs in medicine. Botox has been approved to treat the following conditions. Chronic migraines, overactive bladder, sudden unwanted muscle contractions, abnormal head position, cross-eyedness and excessive sweating. And unofficially, it's been prescribed for speaking and swallowing difficulties, back pain, gastrointestinal problems, depression, abnormal heartbeat and drooling, among other conditions. Botox is also the only beauty-enhancing treatment approved by the US Food and Drug Administration. And disturbingly, Botox has even been used in a camel beauty contest. The Botoxed camels were disqualified. Botox is used to treat more and more diseases. This is quite remarkable considering that botulinum toxin, the poison Botox is made from, is a super dangerous neurotoxin that has been developed into a biological weapon. Let's take a look at the secret manufacturing process of Botox and see why it's become the wonder drug that can be used to treat so many different diseases. Botulinum toxin is made by Clostridium botulinum bacteria as part of their normal life cycle. Here's how the bacteria are used to make Botox. Grow the botulinum toxin producing bacteria. Separate the toxin from the bacteria. Purify the toxin. Test the quality of the product. Dilute the product way down. Mix the toxin with filler materials to store it and to increase its volume and pack the product into a vial, vacuum, dry it and ship it around the world. Voila! Ready product. Easy. Well, not really. Although the basic process may seem simple, Allergen, the company making Botox, has fine-tuned the process and guarded jealously against competition. They protect the production process with a trade secret, the same way the Coca-Cola company guard their Coke recipe. According to both the Allergen executive Brent Saunders and competitor company Revency's executive Dan Brown, the exact production method is almost impossible to copy. Botox is made in secrecy. The bulk toxin that hasn't been diluted is stored somewhere in the US, probably close to Allergen's testing site in Irvine, California. From this location, a tiny amount of the drug is shipped once every year or so by a guarded private jet to Westport, Ireland. Here, the tiny amount of toxin is diluted and processed to make the thousands of Botox vials shipped around the world. The drug is not only made in secrecy to guard against competitors, but to also prevent bioterrorism. Minuscule amounts of Botox can kill a person by shutting down muscle activity. Diluting the toxin to make it weak enough and injecting it to the right places makes for a great medicine. A few nanograms of Botox strategically injected to the muscles of the forehead or to the muscle of the bladder locally paralyze them without the patient dying. A wrinkly forehead is less wrinkly when the muscles causing the wrinkles are forcefully relaxed and an overactive bladder doesn't want to urinate as much when it is forcefully relaxed. Shutting down targeted muscles is a powerful tool for medicine. The original use for Botox was for the treatment of having crossed eyes, where too much tension from one of the muscles outside the eye causes the eyes to look in different directions. When a drug has been deemed safe for one use, doctors can prescribe it off the label to other diseases where they might see the drug fit. This is how the drug gradually spread to treat conditions first involving muscle spasms and eventually to treating wrinkles. With one approved treatment leading to another, the drug is now approved as a chronic migraine treatment and is even being studied for its anti-depression properties. Off-label use is spread by patients reporting new effects. Patients receiving treatment for their crossed eyes noticed less wrinkles on their forehead. Later, patients getting wrinkle treatment noticed less migraine. According to one academic paper, Botox is now the drug with the most clinical applications in medicine. 
In muscle spasms and tension, the muscle needs to be relaxed, and understanding how Botox helps in these conditions is straightforward. But with conditions like migraine and depression, it's quite difficult to say what the mode of action for Botox could be, since the mechanisms underlying the conditions are still more or less a mystery. Botox is generally considered safe when administered properly. Ironically, one of the unwanted side effects of Botox treatment is the human immune system acquiring immunity against it. In biological warfare, immunity against Botox is great. Your body can fight the weaponized neurotoxin before it shuts your muscles down. But in Botox treatment, immunity is unwanted because the toxin can't locally paralyze the injected muscle if the immune system blocks its action. Immunity resulting from Botox treatment only occurs in a small percentage of patients, but long-lasting use is a risk. I hope you enjoyed the video on this wonder drug. Subscribe, leave a like, and tell us in the comments if the word Botox means more things to you. Now, I take a more detailed look at the way Botox paralyzes muscle and the strange bacteria producing botulinum toxin in another video. You can find the link in the description. By the way, these Botox producing bacteria are all around us in the soil and in the environment. Watch the other video to find out why we're not dead. There's links to research articles and magazine stories on Botox in the description for further reading. See you again. It was a pleasure.